Hi, my name is Terry, and welcome to the third video lesson on symmetry in shapes and symmetry in classical music. Today we are going to explore flip symmetry. Let's start with this triangle shape. With flip symmetry, our second triangle shape is flipping upside down. Even though these two triangle shapes are in different positions, they are still symmetrical because they are the same size, same shape, and same measurement. Let's see flip symmetry in this landscape photograph. We have flip symmetry in the reflection of the mountain and trees in the water. Notice how the reflection is flipped upside down. How about one more example with one of my good friends? This is pork chop. We can make flip symmetry with pork chop's photo with this second pork chop flipped upside down. Even though these two images of pork chop are in different positions, they are symmetrical, same size, same shape, and same measurement. We can hear flip symmetry in music too. Let's go back to our four note melody from the previous videos. First, we heard symmetry in the melody as it was sliding up to higher notes while maintaining the exact same measurement. Then we heard mirror symmetry as the four note melody was reflected backwards. With flip symmetry, our four note melody will be flipped upside down. So here is the original four note melody, and here it is flipped upside down. Notice how the original melody started off moving up to a higher note, and the flip symmetry melody started off by moving down to a lower note. Let's listen. Let's hear flip symmetry in Bach's Brandenburg Concerto No. 3. Here is the shape of Bach's melody using red notes. It kind of looks like a checkmark shape. Then Bach uses flip symmetry and flips the melody upside down, here with the green notes. Bach continues to alternate between the two symmetrical melodies and then does something really interesting. He plays both symmetrical melodies at the same time. Let's listen. Let me slow it down so you can follow the melody shapes. Did you hear that really cool part where Bach combines the two melodies together, one right side up and one flipped upside down? Let's hear that one part again with some help from Pork Chop. In music, when we take a musical idea and flip it upside down, we call that an inversion. An inversion is a musical idea that is flipped in the opposite direction. I composed a flip symmetry inverted melody on Compose It. Let's listen. My melody started out with these eighth notes moving down and then moving back up on the quarter notes. If I invert the melody, instead of starting off descending down on the eighth notes, 
I'm going to go up on the eighth notes in the opposite direction. In my original, the quarter notes moved up. Now they are moving in the opposite direction, moving down. To invert the melody perfectly, we need to think numerically. So from the first to the second note, I went down one step, or minus one. From the second to the third note, I went down another step. So that's another minus one. Let's keep going. So down another step, minus one, and down another step to the quarter note, minus one. When I invert the melody, I'm going to do the opposite. Instead of minus one, I need to do plus one. So I'm going to move up to the note right above. In the next note, again, I'm going to reverse minus one to plus one, bringing me to the note right above, another plus one, and to the quarter note, minus one turns into plus one. Now let's look at the quarter notes in my original melody. I started off moving up one note, plus one, and then moving up one note again, plus one. So in my inverted melody, I need to do the opposite. Instead of plus one, minus one down a step, and minus one moving down the final step. Let's listen again and let Pork Chop go for a little ride. Head over to the nbsymphony.org website to the Learning in Concert online page to compose your own flip symmetry melody. Don't forget to send it to me at the symphony. We'll be sharing your melodies on our website. Thanks for watching.